Brunswick is six kilometres north of the CBD. It's bounded by Princess Hill, Carlton, and Carlton North to the south, Brunswick East, Brunswick West, and Coburg to the north. Brunswick's a multicultural suburb with some 22,000 residents. Brunswick has a diverse population. The 1950s, it was the Italians, the Greeks, and the Maltese uh, that migrated to Brunswick, and they have added a great cultural mix. Brunswick has a great village, and it's all around Sydney Road, its main spine, where there's lots of bars, cafes, there's tram that runs north-south, and there's a great array of amenities in Brunswick. Brunswick has lots of recreational facilities, including Royal Park and Princess Park to the south, Gilpin Park and Clifton Park, which flanks Albert Street, and of course, the Merry Creek Reserve and Bike Path. Brunswick has two primary schools, two secondary schools, and the RMIT campus. Brunswick has a diverse range of housing, from Victorian single-fronted bricks and weatherboard homes in central Brunswick. And in Brunswick West, we have a lot of housing from the 1930s, 40s and 50s. And generally, in those areas, it's, they are on much larger blocks. Brunswick has great investor appeal, providing you stick to some simple rules. You must be north of Brunswick Road, south of Albion Street, and between Melville Street to the west and Ligon Street. Yeah, Brunswick ticks most boxes. It has a high underlying land value, it is, has a, a good a, a range of architectural styles in its housing, it's close to the CBD. It's good to remember the old property cliche, location, location, location. It's not always about the suburb location, it's about the property's location in a particular street. And also, if it's a flat or an apartment, it's the property's location or position within that block. By making smart and well-informed property decisions, you will watch your property investments grow.